Hey everybody, it's Rachel with Rachel Q Stitches and welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, April 26th, 2022 and this is floss tube number 58. I want to thank you all so much for coming. Um, if you're new here, this is a channel mostly about cross stitch. Um, some days I talk about other things, but today it is mostly cross stitch. I'm going to try not to rock back and forth so much. <laughs> I'm a very hands-on talker and so if I don't have my hands moving, I move my upper body. So anyway, I'm going to try not to do either one of those today. <laughs> anyway, if you're new here, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Like I said, this is a channel mostly about cross stitch. Sometimes I do talk about other stitchy things, but today it is mostly cross stitch. Um, if you're a returner, thank you so much for coming back. I have a couple of new subscribers and thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you like with you what you see. Um, and thank you for your subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I really appreciate it. Um, so I did not get much stitching done this week. My husband, again, was off. And um, we did some cleaning out of storage units and some moving around of things. And I had him pulling some things out of the attic for me so that I could get some stitching done. And if I think about it, I will include pictures of what we've done. But probably not because they don't have any stitching things on them. <laughs> <laughs> right now I um my um decorating style is very much um what I like to refer to as things I've inherited and I don't want to let go of <laughs> so I don't I don't decorate um I don't make a lot of smalls you know pillows and stuff that I decorate with with my cross stitch I usually just frame them and hang them up on the walls and um even a lot of my smalls are just hung up and uh so anyway so, but anyway, that's neither here nor there and has nothing to do with cross stitch. But anyway, so what did I get stitched this week? Well, I am slow going with my Erica Michaels blocks that I'm stitching. I am stitching this um, uh, Shelly Proverbs 3122 is stitching these along with me. We are on the letter T and I need to finish these by Sunday, which is the 1st of May which means I need to start another one <laughs> and I have gotten nothing done. So this is where, this is all I've gotten done so far for the block T. I need to finish the border. I'll probably get, I'll probably get a lot of it done today. These blocks don't go, um, they go pretty fast and they're mostly letters. So um, it is for table and forgive me, but I cannot remember the specialty stitch. But this is it right here. And again, I've changed the colors. Um, oh, the sun's coming out. We have been having rain lately. So this is it right here. So that's what I've done all. That's it. Um, I do kind of park my threads a little bit. And I'm not very good at counting with um, even weave. This is a 28 even weave in natural that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's their Artiste brand. And so that's what this is. And I'm, for these blocks, I am using Thrift Store Floss. These are free blocks that were originally found on Rainbow Gallery's website. They are still there. But if you go on Erica Michaels' website, she's re-released the pattern. But on her website, she has released the, um, the stitch names that you can stitch on the bottom now. And she's released a couple of other things to go along with the blocks. I will not be doing any of those. That was not my plan originally to make it into a book. It was just something I wanted to do to learn specialty stitches. And like I said, I think last week or maybe the week before last, I am done with specialty stitches. <laughs> I don't mind doing them here and there, but this was just a bit much for me. <laughs> but I'm glad I did it. It was a great learning process and, um, you know, I'm glad I did it, but I'm done. <laughs> I'm toast. <laughs> That's it. But this is the letter T. So hopefully I'll get this done by Sunday so that I can pick up the letter T U, the letter U. So that's it right there. Anyway. And the next thing I worked on was the block Cherish. Um, I work this on the 19th of every month. My mother's birthday is on the 19th. I am doing this kind of in her honor. Um, she's the one who taught me how to quilt. Um, it's got blue and yellow flowers. My mom's favorite color was blue. My dad's favorite color is yellow. And their song was Cherish by The Association. So that just made sense that I made this, um, stitch this piece. 
So I got a good big bun on this piece. Um, and I don't know why I left such a huge border on my fabric, but I did. And I was looking at it when I was stitching. I was like, what a waste of fabric. But and this is what I've gotten in so far. And when I picked it back up, I only had, I think, maybe one and a half of these black diamonds done. And um, some of the sawtooth borders. And that's it. And this is neat because this white part right here was done in pearl cotton. So that was kind of interesting to do. It was very, um, it gives it a nice texture. I really like it. So hopefully May 19th, when I pick it up again, I'm going to work on um, filling in the little borders right here, the red borders. I'm going to try to get that done and maybe start working on the center parts right here. Hopefully. We'll see. But it's moving along. I'm hoping to get it done. You know, I'm not I'm not in a rush to finish it. Like I said, I started on March 19th, her birthday. So, you know, hopefully by her next birthday, next March 19th, I'll be done. No rush. And then I worked on my family piece. I'm trying to work... On this once a week this is something that I am trying to hurry up and finish by my birthday <laughs> my birthday is May 30th um, the anniversary of my mom's passing is May 28th so I'm trying to finish it either one of those two days or at least by those two days <laughs> one of those two days this is a pew that um, if you're new here this is a pew um, in one of the local churches that my grandparents had commissioned um, my grandfather was a Thibodeau, my grandmother was a Picard, so my mom was a Thibodeau, and this is their pew in that church. And then I had Stitch and Mommy on Etsy and here on YouTube chart this up for me. And I am so close. So close. This is it. Right here. I love it. So, um, what I did was I finally, finally finished, um, the top two pages where the, the crest was. And so this right here, I worked on bringing it down right here. So I'll work on it again this week. I try to put two days in every week. And I try to put two good days, like two days where I know that I will sit down for a couple of hours and really, really stitch. I say this every time, but when I look at it up close, I do not see those vines. But when I see it, look at it in the camera, I see them. So they show up really, really well. So this is it. I am in love with it. So I'm really, really, really hoping to finish it. Like I said, by either my birthday or my mom's passing so anyway so that's it I love it I love it love it love it okay and then the last thing I worked on and I left the chart uh, I left the chart in the living room oh well it's my Acadiana piece. Um, this is a chart that I picked up um, from a thrift store here in town. I am, if you watched last week, I think it was last week or week before last, I talked about how I am not doing the whole chart, just bits of it. So right here, you will see I worked on filling in the sun. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> I picked up that color and I just filled it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the moss on the trees. I'm going to do all the moss. I'm going to do the back stitching on the house so that you can see the stairs. I'm going to do the chimney. I'm going to do a little bit of the water and then I'm going to call it done. And that's all I'm going to do. I have a frame that it should fit perfectly in if that's all I do. And it's a really, really cute frame and I think it'll look really, really good in that frame. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not doing the whole thing. I am doing a Kim Goldman, the Contented Stitcher. 
where I am saying, this is the frame I want it in. <laughs> and so this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you, Kim, for that uh, in, little bit of inspiration. And so that's what I'm doing. I picked a frame and that's what I'm going to do. So um, I do have it one more time. This is a whip go piece. And so I do have it one more time on my whip go board and I um, should finish it by then. So it's finished for this month. And so it will get pulled away until it gets called again. And that's all I stitched. And so whip go will get pulled again. Poof, y'all. The whip go numbers for May got pulled. And I'm so excited because both numbers that got pulled are pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> so I will get to work on pandemic for two days a week for every week in the month of May. So I am thrilled. So hopefully I'll get some work done on pandemic. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about getting my hands back on it and really working on it and looking at all those beautiful colors again and um, really, um, you know, uh, really getting it done. And um, um, hopefully finishing that center bouquet and moving on <laughs> and getting some things done. I should have brought it to show, have a starting point, but I'll show it next Tuesday because I probably won't get it started until after next video. So anyway, I do have a small bit of haul and I do blame Alba Stitcher and Mouse Potato Design Felicia um, for this purchase. And that is Cora Abatacori. I bought the... Um, two of her quilt designs and I bought, uh, and I should have taken them out, but I didn't, oh, forgive me. I bought the stitching in quilt design and I did buy the paper pattern because her shop, Etsy shop was closed. So I bought the stitching in quilt. I'm gonna take them out. Oh, excuse the noise if you have headphones on, I'll try to make it gentle. This is stitching in quilt. And I bought, and I think Alba, Amanda, is doing Halloween. And then there's somebody else she was doing with that is doing a different season, I want to say. And then I think Felicia is doing either stitching or this one right here. And this is quilting in quilt. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do every aspect of each one or not. I love the little houses. I love the little flowers. So I don't know. I kind of went back and forth. Like, I love the little girl in this one, but I'm not overly fond of the little girl in this one. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I thought about putting them together, but boy, that would be huge. I thought about pulling elements from each one. I could do that. I could just pull elements from each one. And, um... And make it my own. I don't know. Like I don't like the little quilted dress there. And I love the center bouquet here. But I love the pin cushion right there. That's cute. I like most of the stitching elements. I'm going to see. I might put them together and see. We'll see what I do. But that was that's my only haul. That's it. That's all that I bought. Anyway, so Monday, um, but that's not all my stitching. <laughs> Monday, um, I was getting ready for bed and I got a Instagram message and um, it was from Merrick Crawford and she said she was going to be in town in my little town of Lafayette saying she was going to be in town getting a po' boy. <laughs> if you ever want a po' boy, come to Lafayette. And she wanted to know if I wanted to meet up. And I said, absolutely do. Yes, I want to meet up. So I met up with Merritt. And if I can figure it out, I'm going to insert a picture here. And if not, I will insert it after the video. Um, but it was a delight meeting Merritt, um, you know, meeting her. I felt like I already kind of knew her because, you know, watching her videos and we've chatted a bit, you know, on social media, whatnot. And so and everything, but, um, I've always referred to my online friends as my imaginary friends until I've actually met them in person. So Merritt is no longer an imaginary friend. She's now a real friend. 
<laughs> and it was such a delight to meet her and I got to meet her parents and um, love talking to her dad about old Baton Rouge and um, you know what he knew about the area back you know when he was younger and um, just delightful people and her daughter was just the sweetest thing and um, so it was so nice meeting her and um, finally getting to see her in person and um, have her make that transition from being imaginary to real. <clears throat> and so, uh, it was really wonderful. So Merritt, it was great seeing you. Thank you so much for, um, letting me know you were in town and, um, I'm, I'm glad you were able to try old time groceries, po boys. Uh, hope they were as good as you thought they would be. <laughs> we enjoy them. And, um, so anyway, so that was my fun this weekend was getting to um, meet a stitchy friend. I have one stitchy friend here, but um, she's busy with young children. So I don't have anybody that I actually stitch with. So it was fun meeting her. Anyway, so that is the end of my video. It is a very short video. I hope um, everybody had a great week. I hope you all, um, if I have any Orthodox friends, I hope you all had a great Easter this past Sunday. Um, I know y'all celebrated Easter this Sunday, so, um, I hope y'all had a great Easter and, um, I will see you all next week, Lord willing. Bye-bye.